Hi, welcome to the Q&A recording of the film My Sunny Mod, playing as part of 11th European Union Human Rights Film Days. Today, we are happy to be talking to the director of the film, Mikaela Pavlatova, who is joining us from Prague. Hi, Mikaela. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to have you here. Uh, so, Mikaela, you are an internationally acclaimed animator who is recognized with the short films, such as Words, 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 Forever and Ever, uh, and the Oscar-nominated Tram. Uh, you are also head of the animation department of FAMU, Academy of Performing Arts in Prague. And My Sunny Mat is your first uh, feature animation. It centers on a young Czech woman who experiences um, life in post-Taliban Afghanistan after she marries an Afghan man. So uh, the film is an adaptation, uh, actually, from the novel Frista. Uh, the first thing I wonder is, how did you learn about this novel and why did you choose to adapt it uh, to an animation film? After making many short films, I knew that I, my way now is to make an animation feature. And uh, I just wanted to take this challenge. And uh, I knew that I want to find something about female, about interesting and strong female character, woman uh, character. Uh, and um, also the <clears throat> also the book, which would be quite realistic, which wouldn't have so much to do with animation. I just wanted to have the real story. And then I bought the book, Freshta, uh, written by the Czech uh, war journalist Petra Prokhaskova, who lived six years in Afghanistan and married Afghan men. And uh, very soon I realized that this book uh, already has an adaptation to the script uh, and the adaptation is owned by my producer. And I thought like, wow, this is a sign because if there is already the adaptation, it means that the first very important step to the film is made. And uh, so this was uh, one of the first impulses and uh, the reason that I wanted to find a script which would have nothing to do with animation was that I wanted to uh, prove to myself and also to, to the audience that also in animation uh, we can tell stories which are not only for kids and not only funny. Mm -hmm, definitely. I actually have a... Uh question related to this issue. Usually animation is uh, considered mostly to be for children. However, we see that films uh, such as Flea, The Crossing, The Breadwinner, or your film, uh, My Sunny Mod, which tackle human rights issues more and more. Uh, would you like to say something about this? Uh, it is quite interesting that in the last years, there were quite a few films about human rights and about Afghanistan. It is a pure accident and I don't know how it happened because we didn't know uh, one about another that we are making this film, these films. They were also, yes, you named Flea, Breadwinner and uh, also The Swallows of Kabul. So these all were films, uh, serious films about serious topics which took place in Afghanistan. Uh, for sure, there is a couple of films uh, which I said that they are serious uh, for speaking about serious topics as a human rights, but they are still not enough that the audience would take it as a normal. General audience still supposes that animation must be fun. Um, I don't know, I don't know how it happened. Uh, maybe there is just some time that the directors want to make comedies and sometimes they want to make a more serious topics. Um, and also maybe part of it is also that uh, in animation, if you speak about something, uh, some serious themes or about some violence, uh, it is a little bit easier to make it in animation because mm -hmm. in the real film, it's sometimes too direct. And uh, sometimes audience doesn't want to make, uh, doesn't want to see it. For example, uh, Freshta, uh, which is the original title of our film, My Sanimat, it was supposed to be the live action film on the beginning. 
and the production, uh, my, my, my producer, they had the script originally, which they wanted to make the live, live action film. And then <coughs> they didn't get financing for it uh, because probably nobody wanted to see it in live action film. And then afterwards, where I have discovered the book and I decided to make the film, it was already much easier to, to get money to make it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, production-wise, maybe it's uh, easier to show these war scenes or, uh, you know, such scenes, maybe. That's another, that might be another reason. So um, I'm really curious about the researching phase of the film. How did you do your research? Have you visited Afghanistan? And how did you feel? Uh, questions like this. Uh, since the very beginning, we had an uh, Afghan consultant who was with us all the time. And we were uh, asking questions about each details in the story and in the film. Then there was also the writer who lived six years in Afghanistan and her uh, Afghan husband. Uh, but for my research, I, um, regards my research, I was not in Afghanistan and uh, everything which you see in the film is from references. I have got uh, tons of materials from the writer. Then the producer also provided me various videos. And then you can find everything on internet. Uh, expect uh, interiors of the houses uh, because Afghan people really don't want to uh, see the intimacy of their houses. Uh, so this we had we had just a very few of references how it looks inside the house. But when I read the book, for me, it was not the book about Afghanistan. For me, it was the book about, uh, about family, about family re relationships, about uh, love between uh, when woman follows the man to his own country, and then she must adapt to the new circumstances. And uh, uh, so it was for me more important than uh, the fact that it takes place in Afghanistan. Uh, I thought that if, if the book would take place in some other countries, that it would be for me the same interesting and strong uh, than uh, uh, when it is in Afghanistan. But of course, the fact that it happens in Afghanistan, it brings another dimension and uh, to it and everything which which takes place in Afghanistan uh, suddenly becomes to be a little bit or not just a little bit political issue that you are much more that uh, the politics and the environment has much bigger impact on your life than if you would live in Czech Republic or somewhere else. Mm -hmm. So uh, I mean I think it's clear that you would like to tell a universal story uh, we can yes, see exactly. that clearly in the film. Um, so the film touches on a lot of themes from uh, cultural clashes to the horrors of the war, but the struggle of Helena uh, as a woman in Afghanistan steps forward. Helena changes her name to Hera and she gives up of her freedom to marry the man she loves. Uh, in public, she faces extreme misogyny uh, yet at the end, she surrenders all of these challenges, maybe mostly because of uh, mud. Uh, so I was just wondering, how did you feel? Did you feel sometimes, you know, um, anxious or, you know, um, how did you feel about uh, this process of making the film? Uh, if we speak about the character of Hera, uh, I didn't have that experience that uh, I would I would follow my love to Afghanistan or to some uh, such a difficult country like this. Uh, but I I also followed uh, men of my life or my love, but it was to United States, which is something completely different. But it has similarities that uh, I suddenly appeared. Uh, starting from the point zero, being somewhere on the country of my boyfriend and without this uh, circle of, of my own family and friends. And so this was something which I felt that 
uh, I can imagine how suddenly the how suddenly the partner changes, and uh, it, he he is not the same as he was when Hera met him back in Czech Republic. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I think I, I can imagine that uh, sometimes we women, when we fall in love and we feel that this is the man that we were born for him, that we can do these things like to uh, go to different places and also to dangerous places. Um, so Hera is not, uh, Hera, Hera is partly enjoying uh, like being there with the, uh, uh, with uh, and having new and having new family, and uh, on the other hand, of course, that there are there is many things that she is missing. Uh, so, I think that it is you get something and you are losing something. Uh, but I think that I can imagine that it would be possible because she is Czech. She has a Czech nationality, and uh, I think that. Uh, some other countries, they would be a little bit more feministic and maybe they would not go to that country uh, or they would be much more aware of their freedoms uh, because the French co-producer, they told us on the beginning why she is going to Afghanistan. She shouldn't go to Afghanistan. She shouldn't wear this burqa and to, and to obey all these things. But I can understand it from my point of view because she realizes that uh, she cannot change things quickly and she understands that the part of the truth is on the side of her family and part of the truth is on the side of our Western society. So she is like uh, among two words, trying to connect them both or to be, uh, to find, uh, something positive in, in both cultures. Mm -hmm. uh, I think you uh, perfectly portrays uh, a such character in your film. And uh, Michaela, if there's anything you would like to add, uh, please feel free uh, to comment. Uh, I can speak about my films um, for hours <laughs> because mm -hmm. I spent with it uh, five years of my life and they were years of joy because animation is my most uh, beloved uh, kind of spending my life. <laughs> so I felt that uh, I am blessed that I can, uh, I have got this gift to make a, the feature animation film because it is, uh, it is so expensive thing. <laughs> and I felt also at the same time so much responsibility for the budget and for everything. And on the other hand, uh, besides this being so happy from making the film, I also felt a big stress uh, also because of this responsibility and also uh, from the fact that in past I, I made mostly short animation films and suddenly I needed to work with a big team of people and to accept the work of the other animators and people around me. And they always make something a little bit different than if I would do it. But of course that without them, uh, I couldn't make the, the long film. So I have learned a lot on uh, making the feature animation. And also for myself, it was, uh, lesson or lecture, not just for Hera. So mm -hmm. I hope that uh, next time, if I will make again something big that I will, I will not try to control each detail and that I will be able to delegate more work to the, to the others. Um, but I think that uh, when I think back that they were nice five years. <laughs> Michaela, thank you for sharing this important story with us and raising important questions around the story uh, and joining our Q&A session. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. <laughs>